Welcome back. The X-Men drama The Gifted is now in season two on Fox. The hot new drama series paired unstoppable mutant siblings, but now one of the siblings finds himself in extreme danger. Take a look. That night his powers first came on. I could feel him in that gym. I remember his face. So terrified. So sorry. And then he saw me. And it stopped. He is my brother. I can get through to him. All your parents? When Reva attacked me. Oh my gosh. Oh, just, I, I was just that. captivated. Crazy. See, isn't it though? <laughs> Joining me right now, Natalie Allen Lynn. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, thank you for having me. I'm super excited to be here. Oh my God. I'm glad that you can get through to your brother. Oh, well, <laughs> uh, you're going to have to watch oh, tonight's episode oh. to see if I actually can. <laughs> I, I remember when I met you the first time when during season one. And did you really think that it was just going to just blow up? It would be such a success. Oh, well, I mean, it, that's always the hope. Yeah, of course, um, of course. But yeah, I mean, uh, this season has been so cool, and I feel like the show has just, like, a different look. Everything is so different than season one. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. And I feel like viewers are really liking it, which is exciting for us. Yeah, that is really um, cool. But no, we, we never thought it was going to be as cool and as big and as successful as it was yeah, season it's, one. It's, it's really exciting. There's a lot of uh, action involved. There's, can you tell us? a little bit about what's ahead for Lauren can, without giving too much away, especially um, with um, tonight's Episode. Especially tonight's episode, um, as you just saw, we're trying to get Andy back, and mm. I think that that's kind of the entire idea for this season. Um, for the future, if you're familiar with the comics, um, you know that Andy's kind of going to the dark side, mm. and you kind of learn that uh, Lauren and the Struckers have this kind of dark past. Oh, they um, have <laughs> not great relatives. <laughs> um, uh, so I think that she kind of starts tapping into that kind of darkness possibly yeah. later on in the season and um, I, I don't know how much more I can say about that. <laughs> and and well, we're just talking too, Polaris has uh, a baby. A little baby! Yeah, we have a little baby. Yeah, we're so just, just talking about how the babies can only work 20 minutes at a time, so the baby is like quite a character on our show because yeah. <laughs> there's so many of them. <laughs> oh my gosh, and when I was there, there are so many different things and different plots, different places, mm -hmm. so how does the visual effects work out? How do you guys do all of that? You I know, know some of the things that take place, but what can you tell us? It's folks crazy because I mean, it, even yesterday I was on set and we were doing um, like a standoff scene, and we're you start chopping all your hands. And I had my yeah. fam, my my sister's working on a movie in town right now, so I had my sister come to set, and she's like, "What are you doing?" Because she had never <laughs> been to set with me before. She's only seen it afterwards. Mm -hmm. But you find yourself doing all of these weird movements, making all of these weird sounds, and you're like, "Okay, this is gonna look so stupid." And then you end up watching the show, and it looks cool. So yeah. somehow we have really great people that work on our show because we definitely are not as cool as we look on, <laughs> on TV. But it must be challenging too. I mean, acting like some something's actually there when it's not and yeah. doing all of that but um, you do an incredible job with it that's yeah it's definitely something I've never worked with personally mm. um, and it's been one of the coolest parts of the show because it's kind of tapping into something that I've never done before but it makes it fun because I'll like randomly like throw up my arm and people will go flying and I feel yeah. so powerful and I'm like <laughs> Like, whoa. whoa. <laughs> so you said like something you've never done before, but you come from um, a very entertaining family. Yes. You know, so that's quite interesting. Did you always know that you were going to be an actress? Um, well, my mom's an actress. My dad's like a producer in an AD. So when I was younger, I kind of grew up in this environment. Um, I mean, I fell in love with it immediately. I, yeah. I used to watch my mom and look up to her so much and see her play these different characters. And they, my mom, when she was on a show called One Tree Hill and she was like an alcoholic. So like, and I'm not necessarily like looking up to the best <laughs> example, but it was still super fun for me because yeah. I knew she was so different than the character she was playing. Exactly. And it's something that I always wanted to do. And I feel super lucky that I'm in it. And I have two younger sisters who are amazing actresses too. So it's really cool that we get to share that kind of bond together. That's really cool. Yeah. And you are a superhero fan. You, <laughs> yes. She also appeared in Gotham, and so that must have been really exciting for you. Oh my God, I love Gotham, and I I miss Gotham too. Um, 
filming in New York were so amazing and the entire cast and being on Fox. So I yeah. feel like I'm kind of like in the Fox family and I feel mm -hmm. super lucky to be here because everybody, especially, I, I know you. <laughs> um, yeah, we go way so back. Amazing at least here. To yeah. At least to here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So what's new for you? What's uh, what are you? What's your like major dream role out there that you would like to do? A dream role? I think that after um, after this is over, I'm kind of tapping into maybe some smaller indies so I get to, because I mean, hopefully the show goes another season, yeah. fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. um, so if that happens, I have a little bit of time off and hopefully just getting into some crazy characters that are in movies, maybe some smaller budget movies. So yeah. I see a lot of success for you, <laughs> Thank Natalie. You. Thank you so much for coming and joining us again. It's always Aww, great to you. see you. Yes. <laughs> oh yes, gotta get hugs. <laughs> Our thanks to Fox Publicity for help coordinating today's interview. The Gifted airs tonight at 8 right here on Fox 5.